Time now for the morning rush. APD is investigating a string of shootings targeting the offices and homes of current and former elected officials. That's with the number of shootings now increasing to five. Early yesterday morning, police say that someone shot at the downtown office of longtime state rep now turned Senator Mo Maestas. APD Chief Harold Medina says that they have collected evidence, but the investigation is still in the early stages. This morning, APD is crediting a rising number of retail theft arrests to a unique partnership with the AG's office. The partnership started in 2021 to tackle the growing problem of serial shoplifting. Now, from Black Friday until Christmas Eve, more than 90 arrests were made for shoplifting throughout the city because of that partnership. This morning, BCSO says that their time on a controversial police reality show is now over. The department had been part of the show On Patrol Live as through the cable channel Reels. Well, that sparked controversy back in October after multiple people criticized the show. The department said that they would reevaluate taking part in that show in the future. Erica. And here's a look at our school day forecast. Temperatures are starting at freezing this morning. We'll be climbing into the 50s, a milder day during the afternoon, but we'll see some breezes. So wear your layers. This morning, a New Mexico lawmaker is pushing for stricter traffic laws that would be harder on drivers who receive citations. Albuquerque State Rep. Miguel Garcia is pushing House Bill 22, which would allow local governments to treat citations like real traffic tickets. Garcia said civil fines for traffic enforcement cameras is not doing enough to change driver behavior. An 82-acre business park at Gibson and Girard by the Sunport may be finally getting a new tenant this morning. Albuquerque City Councilors have given California-based aviation company Universal Hydrogen the green light to build a manufacturing facility next to the Sunport. The Albuquerque plant will create kits for airplanes, which allows them to store and use hydrogen as fuel. Clovis City Commissioners, they have voted to pass a controversial anti-abortion measure. Now, the ordinance does not ban abortion outright. Instead, it requires providers to, to use federal law that is still on the books, prohibiting abortion supplies from being sent through the mail. Erica. Here's a look at our threat index. It is low to moderate today. We'll see a chance for some snowy roads up in northern high terrain, and it will be windy across the east. could lead to some power outages. After the 11th round of voting yielded no House Speaker last night, House members voted to adjourn until noon today. Uh, Representative Kevin McCarthy still fighting for the top job, but so far a group of conservative Republicans are standing in his way. Democratic leaders are warning their members to dig in and be ready to vote all weekend long if they have to. President Biden's legal team is trying to make its case for the massive and controversial student loan bailout. This comes as the U.S. Supreme Court is about to consider two challenges to that proposal next month. The Biden administration argues that challenges failed to show that they would be directly harmed by the policy. Erica. And let's get a check on traffic. Traffic maps are looking clear. No accidents or slowdowns. And here's a look at the big eye. Definitely seeing more cars on the road. Luckily, the roads are dry and clear. A pet pig owner in Moore, Oklahoma, is fighting City Hall after being told that her pot belly pig, Larry, exceeds an ordinance requiring pet pigs to weigh under 75 pounds. Officers had a difficult time trying to corral the animal once it got loose and then told his owner that he exceeds the city's ordinance. Larry's owner, Stephanie Jones, was given two choices, put Larry on a diet or relocate him within two weeks. Welcome back on this day in 1971. We saw our coldest high temperature ever in Albuquerque. We only hit a high of six degrees, but it was a cold day across the entire state. In fact, up north, Eagle Nest only hit a high of negative 47 degrees. Time now for the five facts. At number five happening today, the Santa Fe Animal Shelter and Humane Society is hosting a Name Your Own Price Adoption event. Officials say the promotion is trying to alleviate the already overcrowded shelter by allowing people to bring home a new pet to now name the price they want for, to pay for the adoption. The promotion will continue through January 31st and includes spay or neuter, microchip, and age-appropriate vaccinations. At number four, a locally owned restaurant is now back open in Santa Fe after hate-fueled vandalism destroyed their building back in 2020. India Palace was targeted by vandals who left behind more than $100,000 in damages and racial slurs spray painted on the walls. Customers are excited to see one of their favorite spots finally back open. Now, the new owner, who's worked there since 1994, said he is thankful for the support. Meanwhile, the FBI and Santa Fe police are still investigating that vandalism. And at number three, it is going to be a breezy day across the state. Temperatures will be climbing into the low 50s, and we'll see wind gusts up to 25 miles per hour. 
And number two, this morning, a New Mexico lawmaker is pushing for stricter traffic laws that would then be harder on drivers who receive citations. Albuquerque State Rep Miguel Garcia is pushing House Bill 22, which would allow local governments to treat citations like real traffic tickets. Garcia said the civil fines for traffic enforcement cameras are not doing enough to change driver behavior. And at number one, APD is investigating a string of shootings targeting the offices and homes of current and former elected officials. Early yesterday morning, police say that someone shot at the downtown office of longtime state rep, now turned Senator Mo Maestas. Well, that comes after State Senator Linda Lopez's house was shot at in the middle of the night just days ago. And in December, a Bernalillo County commissioner and former commissioner's homes were shot at, including the campaign office of newly elected Attorney General Raul Torres.